Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're going to be looking at this, bear with me now, Gigabyte B760M Gaming XAX DDR4 LGA1700 Micro ATX Motherboard. So today we're just going to be showing off a little unboxing and a little snippet of the build that I threw this PC into, which definitely is not a conventional or traditional uh, PC case so you're not gonna be able to see much of it but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here and just for a couple little facts that this motherboard has DDR4 memory slots and features two M.2 slots for high-speed storage options as well as the motherboard also supports PCIe 4 so you get the fastest data transfer speeds and any kind of improved performance related to it but as for the first part of the unboxing you can see that we have our main motherboard it is mainly black with lots of silver accents throughout the uh, main board of it itself as well as the heat sink on the left So and obviously that comes in its anti-static bag We also have our little Wi-Fi dongles here So if you want Wi-Fi you can just plug those into the back of the or the rear part of the motherboard next to all those ports So between all these ports right there those little gold dongles That's exactly where you'd plug them in and then it's magnetic so you can hook it onto your PC case or anything else that's magnetic as for cables, we have two SATA cables so to go into hard drives or SSDs. And then we also have that little micro um, M.2 screw. And then as well as our manual, which for a manual, this is very small. I was actually thinking that this was all that it was, uh, it did, or this is exactly everything that it came with. I had to look up the actual manual online where it showed me the full manual. So I don't know why they include a, I guess, very simplified version of the manual. But I guess what can you do? It's only a manual. You can just look it up on like a laptop. But if you don't have a laptop and for example, if you're only building with this motherboard or you're building like a new computer or whatever, this definitely is not the most practical option just because that's all you get. And I don't know about you, but I would hate to look up a motherboard manual on my phone. So that's really the only complaint I have, but everything else I have been much happy with. There's not much included, which there doesn't need to be. Now for the actual build itself, you can see what I meant when I said not conventional or traditional. For the motherboard itself, this is really, you can't see much of the motherboard um, just because that beefy graphics card and a beefy knock to a, a CPU cooler. But there's the back of the motherboard. Obviously it doesn't really get in the way of this case. I mean the case isn't really the focus here, it's the motherboard and it sucks, but it's just how it is with this case that the fact that you you just can't see any or almost any of the motherboard. And as for the I.O. shield towards the back, we have eight USB ports, three of which are 3.2 USBs, one HDMI, one display port, two Wi-Fi dongles, one Ethernet, and three audio jacks or three audio ports. And of those three, there is one line in, one line out, as well as a microphone. And you can't really see it, but there is four DDR4 memory slots. So if you want to be running dual channel or fill up all four slots yourself, you can do either or. And lastly, there is a Q Flash Plus feature, which allows for easy and hassle-free BIOS updates. 